All right, we're back. So if you're watching this video and you know how this chip was programmed, there's another video before this, RT809F uh, ENA chip programming. So here what I've done is I've just finished programming this Super I.O. with a new firmware. I don't know if it's accurate or not. I don't know. Um, but one thing I do know, apparently, you got to run, you got to, you got to have matching BIOS and um, EC. So I've just flashed it one from Vinifix website, Vinifix. So I'm going to flash the BIOS chip, and they should marry together. And if it works, works. If it doesn't, then this board has other issues. So what I'm going to do, undo some of the wiring of this guy. So let's remove the. Okay, great. Right, and the uh, right now, let's remove all these extra wires that are around this board, such as the ground wires I had put earlier. Sure, those pads are good. It's a bit too much. Let's clean these guys up. We don't want any of this bunch of too much of the soldering. Here. Damn it. Okay, great. That's great. Let's see if this board will even work. I, I, I even tried a cable like this, different adapter, different cable, so oh, what a pain. Okay. I'm just curious to know if this board is going to turn on or not. Okay. okay. Let's see if we'll get a HDMI out. You see an Acer logo, that's that. Now before we don't get more than uh, 15 milliamps, yeah. So let's bring the bench top power supply. Okay, here we are. All right, so power is currently on, and the cable is where? Here, where's the other cable? It's packed away, of course. Okay, now we don't need to see all the other board view and this guy. Okay, so moment of truth, whether this board will work or not. The reason why I'm not using the bench top, I mean the normal power supply that's connected to the power adapter, is because I want to see the power usage. Then I will know if there's any difference. Okay. Boom. Do your magic. Well, wrong button. Here we go. It's 
So it's actually the same result, no difference. So super IO programming made no difference. At least we rule that out. Hmm. One thing I said we were going to do was uh, program the BIOS chip, right? Okay. <coughs> Let's just quickly do that. Okay, remove that. How come I saw different versions of 53, SP53? SP51. Five one three dash fifty two in five one three dash fifty two in Okay. Or right, let's program this BIOS chip. Let's remove the BIOS chip quickly. I've got a huge mess here. Let me just pack up some of the mess I made. Was I using this programmer? Okay. okay, great. Open. Okay, we're writing the chip now. Finish the raising. Okay, he's saying he's ready. quickly program that I mean welder that prop weld it properly.
make sure they roll in properly. Alright, cross fingers. Boom, bugga boom. Still waiting, nothing on the screen external. I don't think we even have a CPU V core like before. Pretty much the same as before. <coughs> Nothing. Well, now is the time to call us quits on this guy. <laughs> okay, so the outcomes from this job was being able to program a super IO and a deep analysis using an oscilloscope. Um, so that to me is a success, even though all this is a, a failure, but actually just a loss of income, but not really a failure. It's a big gain in skills, yeah. All right, that's the end. I'll see you in the next one. Yo!